I'm Debbie Hall and I'm a self-taught artist um, having retired about four years ago in a career that did not involve art I was able to pursue my passion of exploring watercolor and other mediums particularly alcoholic which is something newer to the art world and uh, to fulfill a passion I've had my whole life but hadn't had an opportunity to do and um, I'm excited to be able to share with you a little bit about my own inspiration and the medium of alcohol ink, which I'll show you some of the neat things about it, particularly the vivid colors and the spontaneity of the inks and all the texture you can create. Um, it's, it's pretty exciting. Uh, my hope is that people will respond to my art, particularly the color, and that it brings joy to their lives because we have so much color in the natural world. And I find inspiration for my art just looking around daily life, whether it's the ocean, of course, you don't have to be at the beach, but we all know what it looks like, or a flower, um, birds with a gorgeous, amazing blue of the bluebird. You know, everything, if you look closely, is something really intrinsically beautiful in the natural world that I, I try to emulate in some way. I'm excited to share with you some of the uh, alcohol ink pieces that we have of mine for sale here at the St. Lucie Cultural Alliance, uh, one of which is behind me. This is an alcohol ink original on Yupo paper, which is a synthetic plastic from Recycled Products actually, that is really amazing for alcohol inks because other paper would absorb the ink. The Yupo paper is plastic coated and as you can kind of see the inks can flow down like a waterfall or in this case it's called rainforest with amazing merging of colors you can get textures I use q-tips here of all things with alcohol dotting on there to lift off some of the ink and to create a really neat abstract landscape that way other things you can do with the alcohol inks besides on paper painting or by the way you can manipulate the inks with a coffee stir or a drinking straw or a hair dryer all kinds of things to move the inks but you can also use them with just a regular ceramic tile that you can get from home depot this is one that i painted by hand they're all original using different colored inks and different methods to get the textures and if you can see it's like the ocean at the bottom with spritzed on spray from a mister of alcohol ink to achieve the look of sparkling water and these can just they're all hand done could be on a little stand this one was created without as much vivid colors to tone it down for people who maybe want something a little more muted and was used used a um, an object that squirts the air out um, from its nozzle or compressed air like you'd use for your to clean your computer to get the inks to create these interesting um, little extensions that look somewhat flower-like and abstract to create an abstract landscape that's got some gold in there as well. And this one is on a little bit bigger of a subway tile. Again, just a regular tile and kind of an abstract mountain landscape with the inks flowing at the bottom and the sky with a gold moon put on there. Those are all originals. Then we have this, um, which is a print of uh, actually using just one color of ink with alcohol that created all these amazing blues that I, I did with my daughter some years ago. And again, you can see the texture and kind of get lost in the neat abstract landscape of blue lily abstract. This is one we have for sale that's uh, a water lily on uh, in a pond that's done with the inks and you can again can see the vivid colors with that and some of the texture and this is a watercolor which i do as well called ocean it's very simple but it again kind of gives a peaceful feeling similar to the effects of some of the alcohol inks and then we have some of my cards for sale in box sets which are a mixture of alcohol inks and um, some of my uh, watercolors in here. We have shells, we have flowers, this is an abstract landscape, birds, etc. So there's hopefully a little bit of something for everyone. I also want to mention that I found another way 
using alcohol ink to make some functional art, um, which is alcohol ink jewelry. And I made this pendant and matching earrings, and I love blue, but we also have here in the uh, St. Lucie Cultural Alliance uh, boutique, some pendant sets with earrings in a hot pink and some that are studs. These are, um, these are all um, silver plated, uh, hopefully nickel free. No one has said that they irritate their ears and in blue and some posts and then the danglies. So um, this is something else that's a nice way that art can be worn and um, that's one of a kind. And you can find this jewelry for sale here at the St. Lucie Cultural Alliance Boutique. And also I'm gonna be launching um, my Etsy shop on Monday, uh, hopefully July 17th of this week. It'll be under Art for Saving Grace at Etsy and all net proceeds for my art, whether I sell it here on Etsy or um, contacting me at my Gmail is something that I give net proceeds to an amazing nonprofit charity called Saving Grace in Uganda. And that charity rescues street children who are abandoned and homeless as young as six years old, who are literally huddled together in tattered clothes on the street, taking food from garbage cans and hoping that the police don't come and arrest them, sometimes beating them as well. It's a very tragic, dire situation in a country with almost no social services for children. And so this amazing nonprofit charity um, is one that des definitely needs donations and help because there's 10,000 homeless street children in Uganda, Northern Uganda, and they've rescued about a thousand, given them medical care, food, a home, education, and hope in, uh, to change lives. When you purchase any of my art, um, you're helping to support a wonderful charity and to save some of these children's lives in such a country. So I, I greatly appreciate that. If anyone is interested in contacting me, the information will be on a description at the end of the video, and I'm glad to make a print of any size based on anything people might like from my website and discuss a quote for you there. The prints are archival ink on 100% heavy cotton rag paper that will last past probably all of our lifetimes. I've been told by my photographer printer that look as vivid in color, if not even more beautiful than my originals in some way. They're just gorgeous prints. So um, I hope that you'll check that out. I joined the St. Lucie Cultural Alliance because it's a great opportunity for me to exhibit my work with other artists in a community that really supports art. And the membership fee was quite reasonable. And it's exciting to see my art on display for Rainforest. And in fact, I was very excited that my piece called Color Joy um, which is also an alcohol ink and was done with um, using uh, the handheld device to uh, squeeze and to push the alcohol inks on the UPO paper to create this flower-like design was sold. And it's only the second piece uh, in my life since uh, I've started exhibiting that I've sold. And so it's, it's quite exciting and I'm thankful to the buyer for that. And um, so St. Lucie Cultural Alliance is a, a great opportunity for artists to be recognized and to have support in the community. And um, I encourage everybody to come to the vault down at the bottom of the, the building on 111 Orange Ave in uh, Fort, uh, Fort Pierce and explore the art that many people have worked so hard to share and put on the walls to display. And thank you so much for watching my video.